let us try to find the out the expression of centripetal acceleration okay here we are watching a picture of a circle now let us suppose a body at this point a is moving in a circular path at any moment that is t is equal to 0 the body is at the point a after time t it reaches to a point b now the radius vector that is the line joining a to o okay makes an angle theta at the center the radius vector ao makes an angle theta at the center in the time t where time t is the time taken by the body to reach the from a to b so here the ab arc ab arc or, or makes an angle theta at the center after time t it reaches to a point b now we know very well that velocity is always directed towards the tangential direction okay so here the velocity is towards the tangential directions okay so in upward direction the velocity let us suppose is v okay at the point b the direction will be like this one it's also a tangential directions now from geometry it will find found out that this angle is theta now on resolving the velocity into two parts one towards the vertical direction and on the other towards the horizontal direction that is towards ao because bq is parallel to ao so on resolving we will get this one is b cos theta and this one we will get v sin theta here the velocity is towards the vertical direction there is no component of velocity towards central or towards AO direction. So, again uh, I would like to say that when theta is very small, very very small, at that situation cos theta is roughly equal to 1 and sin theta is roughly equal to theta so this one will become v into 1 that is b and this will become v into theta so change in velocity in vertical direction earlier it was v and uh, when the particle reaches to point b then again the velocity becomes v so net change in velocity is equal to v minus v that is equal to 0 so there is no change in velocity but you will find out the velocity sorry change in velocity in horizontal direction that is towards AO that is towards center ok earlier the in the beginning there was no component of the velocity V towards center but when the particle reaches to the point B the velocity changes to V into theta there is one component of v that is v theta or v sin theta towards horizontal direction or towards a o direction so the change in velocity will be final velocity minus initial velocity that is equal to v theta so rate of change in velocity is equal to 
v theta minus 0 divided by t now what is theta by t this theta by t is equal to omega so the rate of change in velocity will be equal to v theta what is rate of change in velocity rate of change in velocity with respect to time t is the acceleration and more precisely it should be called centripetal acceleration so centripetal acceleration fc is equal to v omega but we know very well that omega is equal to v by r so here this will expression will become v square by r this is the centripetal uh, acceleration expression that's all thank you for watching the video that's all